the Stockholm sticker sale has gone terribly wrong and barely anyone has noticed, especially Valve. You see, recently Valve made a big change to how they handle in-game purchases with the goal of making it harder for people to exploit their system. And in the process, they've opened up an even bigger exploit that is now conveniently obscured from public view, but just as much of a problem. And it's really something you want to know about if you're going to buy any of these things, because there is a massive hidden catch if you do, and I'm going to be explaining what it is. Now, every single major, Valve has put the stickers on sale. Every single one, no exceptions. And you can forgive people for getting it wrong with the RMR capsules, those were obviously pretty unconventional, it's fair enough some people got caught out there, but this time it was just a normal major. And there was no way in a million years they weren't going to be discounted by 75% at some point after the major ended. So naturally, speculation began immediately that they might not actually go on sale this time. Some people even publicly advertised they were buying into the stickers before the sale was dropping and then threw a tantrum a couple of hours later when people pointed out how stupid this was. That's right guys, you are not getting a giveaway. I hope that teaches you a lesson for giving someone sound financial advice. But conveniently, about 10 hours later, the sticker sale kicked off. And all this discussion that never should have been happening in the first place about the stickers not going on sale was replaced by a slightly different concern. The idea that there's going to be way too many of these things invested in and they're gonna end up being completely worthless. Now, the market can often be an enigma that totally defies all expectations, even if it might eventually still come crashing down to earth afterwards. And predicting the future can be hard. A lot of people have gotten it wrong over the years, but at the end of the day, there are a lot more people investing in stickers than they used to be, and it generally makes them less good as investments. And that's without Valve accidentally doing something behind the scenes to make it worse. Oh, by the way, guess what Valve's done? So this problem begins with Turkey. Now, Turkey is a large ground feeding bird commonly used Turkey is a country in the Middle East with a currency called the Lira. It's also a big source of CSGO players and Valve sells items in Turkey priced in Lira. For the new capsules, they set this price to two Lira per capsule. Great, right? Well, no, actually, it's terrible. You see, Turkey has kind of been experiencing some financial crises lately. By lately, I mean the last few years. And one of the things it's been doing is destroying the value of the Turkish Lira. Now, this is not much fun if you're someone from Turkey, but if you're interested in buying PGL Stockholm capsules, it does have an unexpected advantage because Valve have given them the wrong price. <laughs> Very wrong. You see, these capsules are meant to be worth 25 US cents while they're on sale, and that's converted to whatever currency is appropriate for that market, and it should all have roughly the same price. The only problem is, the 2 lira that Valve have priced them at in Turkey isn't 25 cents, it's 15 cents, 40% less. Now, this is probably the result of negligence and the crazy volatility of the lira recently, but in normal circumstances, it'd be pretty obvious something was wrong because Turkish players would just be reselling these things at 17 or 18 US cents on the market, completely undercutting Valve's prices and forcing them to fix it. But this time, it's a little bit different. You see, beginning with Operation Riptide, Valve made some changes to the way capsules and cases bought in game are dropped. Any new item is not marketable for a full seven days after it was created. You cannot sell this thing on the Steam market until that market hold runs out. This change was probably to try and make it harder for criminals who use Valve systems. That is a fairly serious problem, but it's also got massive implications here. You see, the price of these capsules is currently isolated to Turkey. If you aren't in Turkey, you can't access capsules at these prices. But in seven days, that trade hold is going to expire and players from Turkey are going to be able to flood the market at ridiculously cheap prices. And trust me, plenty of them already know this is happening. There's going to be people trying to take advantage of it. In fact, the fact that Valve has these market holds is basically covering up the problem like a band-aid over a malignant cancer. It's not going to go away. The longer the price of these capsules are wrong, the more of these 15 cent capsules Turkish players are going to be able to buy and dump on the market later. And not only that, in the meantime, they can still sell any stickers they unbox, so they're completely free to flood the market with these stickers, which are 40% cheaper to unbox than anywhere else, driving down the prices of these too. And because the problem currently isn't an obvious one, like it's 
not that visible yet and it's not directly affecting Valve that much either because people in other countries are still buying it full price. It seems like they literally can't be bothered to fix it. Obviously I can't really do live updates here since I'm not Turkish, I can't see what the prices are there in real time, but the values have definitely been broken for a day with no action from Valve. And it looks like the Turkish Lira may keep on dropping at this point, which would only make things even worse. Now, will this ruin your investments if you buy Stockholm items? Not necessarily. It's hard to predict what's going to happen in this weird new economy of market holds and actually nice stickers for once. And if you can buy these at discounted Turkish prices, it could work out for you. But it is not going to make things easier. And if you don't factor this into your strategy, you're probably going to get wrecked. And in the meantime, expect more problems like this going forward because they're much less obvious than they used to be. So it's going to take Valve a lot longer to identify this stuff and fix it if they can be even bothered to at all. But hey, if you're someone who just likes making sticker crafts, well, this is a win for you. These are pretty nice stickers and they're gonna be even cheaper than Valve intended. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment, and subscribe. Massively appreciated. Otherwise, trust the numbers, not your guts. I'm Jesus, thanks for watching. See ya.